Welcome to what might be the shortest App Store update that we've done so far. We're uh, done. Bye. Yeah, that's it. It's <laughs> it's that fast, folks. Two new games. You can see their titles. Go grab them. Um, now I'm Justin. I'm joined by Destin. Hi. Um, we do only have a couple of games today, but you know what? The App Store update doesn't rest. It doesn't sleep. It's <laughs> your watchful App Store guardian. Great. Your, your Dark Knight. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> it's in- the app that people need. Yeah, the, the, the video people need, not the one they deserve. Um, well, they de- they also deserve it because oh, okay. our, our viewers are the best. Um, <laughs> we do have only just a couple of games to look at today. This I don't believe you. This is a, a game debut. It's a game called Slytherin's Legion. Okay. It's on sale for four ninety nine. It's normally <laughs> going to be double that. It's normally going to be nine ninety nine. Jeez. Um, and it's iPad only. Oh, okay. That's why it's so high. Um, so this is this was originally a PC game. This company Slytherin releases all kinds of uh, historical strategy games. Okay. So they have like you know a Gettysburg game. This one's about like the Roman Empire. Like there's all these historical scenarios that okay. involve the Roman Empire. So change history. It, yeah, it's sort of like a really deep version of Civilization, like a more deep, you know, probably more indie, less polished version of the Civ game. So you're sort of building your empire and then going to war. So um, if you like Civ but want a shittier version of it, <laughs> we've got you covered. Uh, Well, that's the mean way to put it. So I have things queued up here. Like I did a scenario where I'm trying to reunify Italy. Italy and well, I, I have, take back what I said, dude. This doesn't look so bad. No, I have three. I have three Roman cities, and you know, you work through this scenario that's sort of based on real world hist- history and try to like you know mm-hmm. recreate what the w- Romans were able to do. I like the way that the battle scenes look. Oh, they said Olio. Yeah. Is You're, that an authentic Roman battle cry? I, said, I don't. I have no idea, dude. Don't ask. Don't <laughs> ask me those kinds of questions because I don't know the answer to them. So you can position your troops. Um, and then you can give them different orders, like long hold, then advance, normal advance, long advance, then hold. Okay. So if we do a normal advance and then go to war, then you see this battle sequence. And I don't okay. think you – I think this is all passive. Like, this is all fireworks at this point. All right. Maybe you can give them some instructions on the Olio. field. Olio! And so now you see them sort of clash and fight. They're Uh-oh. not saying the Olios. Olio! We can do it. Oh, no! How about the <laughs> They're spearmen. It's like, just a flash wound. Oh, their horses are retreating. Yeah, my horses are also retreating. We'll let this battle finish and see. Do you think I this th- is cool? Yeah, it is cool, right? Yeah. So there's, you know, these are games that have traditionally been relegated to PC. Mm-hmm. You know, that was the only platform if you were sort of a hardcore strategy gamer you had access mm-hmm. to. But more and more of these types of games are hitting iPad. I think this is Slytherin's first iPad game, but I think their plan is to release more and more of their like library of strategy games onto mm-hmm. the App Store. I can't tell if this battle's going well or not. We might get a Pyrrhic victory here where we win Destin, but at what cost? <laughs> yeah, this is totally cool though, right? Yeah, this is neat. Oh oh yeah, so then at the bottom it looks like there's the status, like two of my three garrisons are retreating. Um There's hanging out in the woods. Oh man, I thought I was gonna win this battle and now it's not it's not going well in the end. Oh no! Justin! We got it's pretty even. Stay till the last man. Stay to the Hold art. fast. State of the art graphics. Get back in formation. <laughs> oh, I did win. <laughs> Congratulations. And Half your guys are wandering around drunk and injured. Yeah. Then you get stats afterwards, and they also gain experience so your units level up. And I just took the city as a result. Oh, you. Good. Now you can enslave the people. Yeah, and so now that I have the city, I can enslave the people. I can build, you know, <laughs> farms and mines and things to help me out. And look at how big the map of Italy is down here in the corner. Like this is all the yeah. territory I have to try to take over. Wow, um, that's pretty cool. I'm sorry, I, you know, swore earlier. That's neat. No, I mean I haven't spent very much yeah. time with this game. Like it might be not good, right? But mm-hmm. I mean I'm impressed with the depth of it. It's got all these different scenarios that you can play. So you can play the historical setting, mm-hmm. or you can do an alternative setting, like where you pick whatever side you want to be. Like maybe you pick some side that only has one city and see if you can take over Europe. I want to like be on the losing, like historically losing side and try and change history. Exactly. Like that's the sort of yeah. thing that if you're a nerd about that sort of thing, you know, it seems like it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, that was Slytherin's Legion. It's four ninety nine. It's going to be go up to nine ninety nine in a couple weeks. And iPad it, only. And it's iPad only. Um, and we only have one price drop today. Uh, it's a game called Duck and Roll, which <laughs> this game could The classic Duck and Roll. This game couldn't be more different than Slytherin's Legion, by oh. the way. So <laughs> okay, so it's an RTS strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Duck and Roll is free. I'm trying to look up what its price normally is. It's free, and it's nor- 18.95. Whoa! It's, it's normally, normally 18- 5.99. I wasn't far off. <laughs> 
that's really expensive. I don't know why. This is a universal game, and it's a rhythm game where you play as this, like, uh, rock god duck. Oh, really? Let's check this out. Like, you go through his storyline, so now he's, like, begging for money. These stars pop up, and you have to tap them. All right. And then these ones you have to drag. But what's not apparent right now is it's you're tapping in beat with the music. Tap, 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 right? So, like... You can use the animation to see where you should tap, but you can also, you know, follow the beat of the music. You know why it's so expensive? Licensed what? music, I bet. This is a song I recognize. Yeah, I actually don't know what it's this just song the, is. It's just the acoustic version, I think. Or so, not acoustic, obviously. Uh, instrumental. I, You know, I'm not incredibly impressed with this, but it's free, right? It's mm -hmm. free and it's polished. Um, I think the whole duck storyline is kind of weird. <laughs> Like, I don't get it. I He's don't just a duck trying to find his way in the world, Justin. <laughs> Will he find true love? Will he get the girl? Will he become famous? Will we don't he, know. Will he become... Will he, like, perfect the art of duck and roll? <laughs> yeah, why is it called duck and roll? Because it's like rock and roll. Oh, they're, they're make, they're making I a, get it. They're making a silly jokes. Funnyjokes.com slash jokes. <laughs> um... You got this combo meter that I have going at the top, right? Mm -hmm. So I've hit 100 perfect songs in a row, so that doubles I my score. I think I get the concept of this game just. Yeah, exactly. Should we, it's should zero we, dollars. Should we finish out the song? Sure. How okay. much longer is it? I don't know. The first song, this is the second song. I did the first one earlier. And the first one was really long. Oh, I lost my combo. Way to go. It's got to be almost over, I think. Cap. I don't know. I like the song. Cap. Music's good. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. It's not like Apple Loops or anything. <laughs> this is not one you could play with the sound off, probably. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could. Yeah, you could. Got to tap the stars and hit the liney thing. You know, I like that this is the same sort of dragging gameplay and touch gameplay that we've seen in other music games. But you like did the, it. But the stars flying up on the screen mm -hmm. sort of give it a different feel. The it's got this elaborate storyline. Jeff was right? worried that his dream of being a rock god would never come true, but when he finished his last song, he heard the cheers of other musicians on the street who invited <laughs> him to join their band, Chemical Ducking Today, oh, geez. which they later changed to the Duck Police, before they were sued by the police and the police. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. See, but like I don't know. I think the like the fact that you're a duck is just the weirdest thing. Yeah. So here you see that, I mean, we're not going to play this, but they're introducing another thing. Like, now you mm -hmm. swipe through stars. So there's all kinds of different stars. Neat. Um, it's not bad, dude. For free? Yeah. Duck and roll is free. Yeah. And as far as I can tell, like, there's no in-app purchases. I think the whole thing's just free. Cool. Um, it's free and it's universal. So, you know, if that looked appealing to you, check it out. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even though there was only two games in this App Store, App Store update, you know, it was kind of a small but mighty mm -hmm. day. Yeah. Destin, thank you for joining me. Yeah, thanks for having me, Justin. Uh, everyone sitting at home in your underwear, thanks <laughs> thanks for tuning in and giving us a few minutes of your time. Um, as always, for all the hottest mobile game news, you can keep it locked to IGN.